From 10 miles away, it's awe-inspiring. From two miles, it's intimidating. From just a few hundred yards, it's frightening. This is a great view for you guys. Indeed, we're over ground zero for the worst travel disruption the world has known since September the 11th. This is as close as we dare go to this huge plume. The pilot is confident that a strong northerly wind is carrying this ash and steam away from, from the helicopter. I'll take his word for it. Oh, look at the lightning. So much energy in, in that. Uh, you see forks and, and forks of lightning quite frequently now. There's another one. All about the buttons good now, very good Donald, you can also see big pock marks in the ice. That's pieces of molten lava going into the snow. Now look at look at the look at the stuff coming off the left hand of the plume. Look at the debris there. Large pieces of rock and lightning. So much kinetic energy being released. Unfortunately, most of what's coming out of this volcano is not molten rock landing nearby, but the fine dust that's drifting on the wind towards the rest of Europe. There's no lava flow now because of the depth of the glacier. The lava is still quite far down in the mountain. That, of course, could change if this keeps going for weeks or even months. Ooh. You can see that there's white smoke mixed in here. That's actually steam created by lava bursting up through the glacier. In places, the ice here is 200 meters thick, and this glacier covers something like 100 square kilometers. So there's quite a bit of ice still to go. We flew over lava covering the crater made by the first eruption here on March the 20th. That one finished quickly. But as the pilot made clear, what's happening now is on a completely different scale. This is not a, a nice little bonfire like we had earlier. This is catastrophic. Whoa, see, the, look at the lighting up there. Nature's fury can be mesmerizing, but we'd been playing with fire for long enough. Stay here. Can you stay? I can't. I can't. The wind is just too strong. Okay. And what an ill wind it is. John Irvine, ITV News, Southern Iceland.